My first introduction to teen program was my junior year. I was going to Como and I had a friend that lived here who would always say like every day she's like, oh, I got helped with my homework. And I was wondering who was helping her. The teen program did help me with my my grades, my test scores. At the time I was getting ready to do my SAT and then magically the youth specialist position opened. Most of the youth I work with are, you know, they look like me, they're sort of, they're from the same background as me and just being in the space and them seeing someone that looks like them, you know, that talks like them, just working here, it, it tells them like you, you yourself can do that. It makes me happy just coming to work because I know some kid is going to go home and like, Yuki helped me today. She's awesome. So I just, for that reason, I like, I like doing what I do. My life here is, I don't like to be boring. I like to get up and go all the time. I don't like standing around or sitting around. Or I'm trying to figure out different things for everybody to do. Well, we do a carnival in the summertime. Um, we put posters up all over Cottage Grove, St. Paul Park, Newport, Woodbury, and invite anybody that would like to come to it, and it's all free. We pay for the Thanksgiving dinner with that money. We pay for the Christmas dinner with that money. We love doing this. We love kids. And a lot of older people here don't have kids that come in. So they quite enjoyed doing that. I love living here at Common Bond because I love my room. I love all the people that are here. If I didn't have this kind of place to live in, I probably wouldn't be this busy. I would just be sitting around probably getting fat and I don't like that. <laughs> and this is where I live. I'm in the dining room playing cards with five people. And I've been here, I came in in October and here it is up in November and I'm only seeing five people. And I went to, I went to the front office to, to Miss, Miss, uh, Miss, Miss Katie. I, I went to her and I told her, I, I said, look, I want to cook a Thanksgiving dinner. And she said, hey, go for it, bro. You know? But then I told her, I say, I want to cook for the building. And she, she hesitated for a minute. Then she said, you know what? That ain't never been dead. She said, I'm going to tell you what. Whatever you need, you go for it. And we went for it. And it was amazing. It was amazing the people that, that came down to this dining room for dinner. And I didn't miss nobody. Every crumb that I had left that table. And we sit in, we talked, we laughed, we ate, you know, shook hands, even hugged. I say, I didn't know nobody's name. Nobody was just the five people that I sit and play bingo with. But now I just about know everybody in this building. You see what just to do good, what, what, what can come out of it? Yes, and, and when it comes from the high, you can't miss it. You just can't miss. This will make our building strong. When the residents are strong, we strong. And as long as we can keep some love and come up on at 1560, we got it. I invite everyone to step up tonight and be the star and continue to support Common Bond because it's only with public and private support and volunteer efforts that we can continue to be as effective as we've been over the past 45 years.